Hey guys, Cooper Carter here again for G66, and in this video I want to address a question that I've seen a lot on the Fractal Forum, which is how do I run an acoustic guitar into the Axfex and make it sound really good? I've been running this acoustic into the Axfex live for years now, I've even used it direct through the Axfex on recordings so that I don't have to mic the acoustic guitar. What I'm doing is taking a direct signal out of the acoustic pickup into the Axfex, and by using a tone match block, some compression, and some other effects, I'm getting what I think is a really, really nice sound. So let me show you how I do it. Okay, so as always, we're starting with a blank grid. I've run shunts from the left to the right, so we have output. So we just get this kind of very dry, um, direct acoustic pickup sound that uh, we're trying to make a little bit sexier. So let's just hear what that sounds like. It's obviously very quiet. So the first thing we want to do is boost that level. We could do that with a filter block and just use a null filter and set the, uh, the level however we wanted it. But I'm actually going to use a block that we can also get some other use out of, which would be the compression block. And as you can see, I've boosted this level up around 10. So that brings our signal up. And I've also gone ahead and set a pretty high ratio here and the threshold where I want it. And then I've gone and lowered the attack all the way down and I've set this release pretty high so that we're compressing just about everything if we keep playing. Uh, it's gonna take a pretty big gap in our playing to let the compressor kind of shut off and then kick back in. And I've also switched this from fast RMS to RMS plus peak. And it's just gonna give us a little more of an accurate compression, but also one that takes a bit more of an average across time, or over time rather. So we have this sound. So a louder signal, but also a signal that's getting slightly compressed. So the point of this video though, is how can we beef up the sound of a direct acoustic pickup that we would use, for example, on a loud stage where we don't have the opportunity to use an acoustic mic? Well, the best way to do it in my mind is by using the tone match block. We're gonna go ahead and add that in. And then we're going to actually tone match a mic'd guitar tone. So let's take a listen to what I've got. And I'm gonna start it playing and then capture this reference tone. I want the reference to be coming in over USB. That's very important if you're playing the audio through your DAW or on the internet or through iTunes or something similar like that. So let's start up this reference source. And this is a uh, mic'd recording of actually the same guitar I'm playing. Okay, so I've ended the capture of the reference tone, and now I'm gonna go ahead and capture the local tone. So I'm gonna start playing and turn this on. Okay, so I've gotten the local tone, now I'm gonna hit match. And the resulting curve that we've got here, you can see is gonna sound a little something like this. So a much fuller, much nicer sound. So what I wanna do is actually go in and adjust this gate. So we're just gonna turn the ratio up here so that when we're not playing, that hiss is gonna shut off. So now let's go in and start beefing this tone up just a little bit more. And what I'm gonna do is use a really, really slight amount of chorus. So I'm gonna go in here, and obviously this is too much. That's more of an effect for effect's sake than something that thickens up the sound. I'm actually gonna change this from the digital mono to this uh, dimension one type. See how that's going? Yeah, now I'm gonna take the mix down. Great, so the other thing I can do to thicken it up is to add a delay here. And on this delay, what I wanna do is just set the time really low, so about 75 milliseconds, uh, and the mix really low as well. And what that's gonna do is give me something of a uh, slapback echo. So if we turn off the chorus, let's just listen to the delay. So here it is without the delay. And here it is with the delay. It's just to thicken things up a little bit. I may actually bring this mix a little bit. So it's almost a reverb, so let's turn that chorus back on. 
And the last thing I obviously want to do is make some reverb. So I'm going to put in the reverb block here, and I want to make sure that we're on this new high quality setting, which is uh, in the latest couple of firmwares. What I'm going to do is use the uh, large hall and take this time up a little bit, but take the mix uh, down a bit from where it is. Let's see how that sounds. Yeah, that's a lot of reverb. So I'm gonna actually take this time down and I actually am gonna bring this mix up a good bit. much more alive. So I hope that gives you guys an idea of how we can thicken up a direct unmiked acoustic tone using a tone match recording of a mic acoustic that you like. You guys can use any solo guitar track that's acoustic, uh, your own, somebody else's. I encourage you to experiment with different recordings. There's some really popular ones out there you guys can uh, look up that a lot of people have used. Until next time, take care.